Hey folks, good morning. Colton Woods here with Colton Woods Horsemanship, bringing your Monday morning motivation. And guys, I wanted to share with you a little bit of reflective thoughts that I had from this past weekend. My wife and I spent quite a bit of time chatting with each other, talking about where we're at today, where we'd like to be, not just tomorrow, but in the by the end of the week, by the end of the month, by the end of the year, in the next three, five, ten years, and spent quite a bit of time talking about what the what it looks like, the vision for what we're trying to create, and then backtracking on, okay, well, how can we build some milestones in there, some things that will make sure that we are headed in the right direction. And it doesn't mean that it's things that we have to buy or things that we have, where a place we have to be, but some mile marker checkpoints. But what ended up happening was in that conversation is we first started talking about the big picture, the, as my wife would call it, the pie in the sky kind of dream um, that I have in my mind. And the reason we found out that we came this big pie in the sky kind of thought, this big dreamy thing, was because it was so much further ahead, so much bigger than where we are today, that it almost seems unattainable at times because there's so much to be done in between. And it, it's not that it's an overwhelming feeling, but it's so unfamiliar. That pie in the sky, that big vision down the road, it's so unfamiliar because it's a it's a life that maybe we haven't lived, a career that we haven't been involved in, or whatever the case may be. And you, I believe that many of you have those same kind of dreams. You, you have these ideas and you have these visions and you've seen other people that are in these certain lifestyles or in these certain career fields are doing being able to have these certain opportunities or experiences, but they're so far from maybe anything that we've ever experienced ourselves that it can feel very daunting, can be almost unclear as to how we're going to get there. And so we had that same experience this weekend when we were chatting about where we're headed and all of those types of things. And it started with that big pie in the sky thing. And then the more we talked about it, the more we broke it down. And it, it came from the pie in the sky thing to the things that were important to each of us. And then it came from there and it started, we started to be able to break it down into smaller pieces saying, okay, well, as we got closer and closer, we started talking about where we actually are today in all the realms, you know, where we're at in our physical fitness, where we're at in our financials, where we're at in our careers, where how our businesses are laid out, where we're at location-wise in the world, and how all of that plays a role into where we're headed. And so even this morning when I was working out, I had put together a workout regiment this morning, and there was one particular exercise that was just flat whipping my tail. And instead of being overwhelmed by the fact that I, the exercise was beating me, um, I broke that exercise down into smaller pieces. And so I had my rounds, but then within one of the rounds, I broke down the set in a 50 into sets of 10 within one round so that it became more attainable. And it's, so it's not, don't get so caught up on those big pictures because really what the difference is, is between you and somebody else or you and where your goals are. They're not, it's not those big gaps. Really, a lot of us already have the pieces going, the pieces in work. It's the little bitty things that we get going. In fact, we have an interview coming up on the Heart of Horsemanship podcast here in about two weeks um, with a very, very um, gracious guest that came on. And we just did this interview this weekend, and I'm super excited to bring it to you because we were talking about fitness and equestrians. And this was something that I was really excited to talk about because one of the things we talked about is like for me personally, I know I always struggle. I don't really have a, an affinity for working out. And I was like, but I have the nutrition down. I've got that. And he's like, you know, you've got all the pieces. You just, you're just missing one of the, one of the links. And that's the thing I think a lot of us have in our lives is that we have a lot of the pieces already going in our lives to get to that next level. You, I, and everyone else has a lot of the pieces we already need to get to that next level. It's just the, it's just the smaller things. It's not those big things that separate one group from another group. It's the small little things that we do on an everyday basis. So guys, take those dreams, break them down, break them down again if you have to, create the plan, spend time reflecting this week, and don't get overwhelmed by that pie in the sky picture. That pie in the sky picture is an amazing place to start. It's so important because that is, that's that intrinsic inner self telling you what you're capable of, living out to that full potential. And I told my wife this morning, like, I don't really have fears necessarily, but one of the things that if I did say, if someone said like, what's your biggest fear? I was like, I would probably tell them not living out to my extreme full potential that I have and that I believe I have. So when you have those big pie in the sky dreams, when you have that, that vision that comes right out of the inside of you, listen to that, 
spend time reflecting on it, break it down, take a journal and write it down and talk with those. If you have a spouse or if you have kids or like whoever's involved in your life that is going to be affected by these types of ideas, these types of dreams, these types of decisions, make sure you have those conversations because it makes sure you're surrounding yourself with people that are going to support you. And so guys, I hope you have, go out there and have an absolutely blessed week. I hope this Monday morning motion find, motive, Monday morning motivation finds you well. And we look forward to connecting with y'all throughout this next week. Y'all have a blessed one and take care guys.